fun. Dark side feel here. Uh, with day three of surviving the blackout. As you can see, we still don't have any power. So, uh, you know, I want to say this. So, today is garbage day. So, I had to, yesterday, last night, uh, empty the refrigerator completely. Now, of course, some food was still, like, kind of cold. But I didn't want to risk the food being spoiled by today. So, I decided to throw it all away. Now, that's all because the stupid fucking power company not giving any power. There's no updates. So, like, you know, I was trying to see if I could find any of the of the trucks driving around. No trucks were driving around, dude. And they said on social media, uh, 20,000 customers got their power back. Who are these 20,000 people? Huh? And then they're saying that, like, 90% might get their power back on, like, Sunday, and the rest will be Tuesday, which is bullshit, because I know my luck, you know me, guys, uh, I'm probably not gonna get my power till, like, Wednesday, okay? This is terrible, this is, uh, streaming time I could be doing with you guys, but I am at the mercy of the dumb fuck power company that's holding my power for hostage, and you know what? They were saying that they, like, increased the rates last month, why? So I'm glad they're being fucking investigated to see the stupid fucking uh, rate increase for why that happened. And then, of course, they get, they're blaming some other company for doing that. And the other company's like, oh, uh, we didn't do anything. And, of course, they're all blaming each other. Because why would they, uh, like, you know, take responsibility? They, the power's God, guys. There's no point in fucking arguing about who did it. We know it's your fault. Okay, and you need to take responsibility. Yes, you! Fucking idiots. And now, today, I have to go on a, on a wild goose chase to get some, like, camping gas so I can make, like, instant coffee uh, instead of, like, you know, you know? So I have to, like, drive for, like, at forever to get this stupid thing, you know what I mean? So it's fucking stupid, man. I would like to go to the, the store that's near me that's like, that's a camping store, but it's closed because the area has no power. That's like the only business area, uh, the only business area that has no power. Makes no fucking sense. And all this happens during a pandemic. Fucking bullshit, dude. <laughs> So, uh, I was good, so I did play the single, uh, well, actually, bleh, I did play River City Girls, and I got to the secret ending, I, f I found all the statues, and I found out, okay, get, th get this, dude, if you get all the statues, you get, like, a, uh, earring, and if you equip both earrings, you find a secret boss, and it was actually pretty easy, everyone was saying how hard it was, how hard the fight was, but, uh, it was actually the easy. It was easier than the actual final boss, dude. The final boss uh, is Subuko, this female yakuza who's really cool. So, like you know, she was pretty difficult, but the uh, secret boss was pretty easy. I don't know why. I don't know why people were saying that the uh, secret boss was hard, but I thought it was pretty easy, dude. And I played by myself. <laughs> Cleo didn't want to play, so I, so unfortunately I had to play by myself. She she was busy doing, I don't know, I mean, she, you know, I don't want to talk about her, she's personal, dude. You know what I mean? So, uh, I like ran over something, dude. So anyways, okay, so... <laughs> So anyways, they got to the secret ending, and it was, like, really cool, but I don't understand what they were talking about. They were mentioning some, like, obscure game, and how, uh, 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 Kyoko and Misato were characters from the, uh, um, obscure game that was 16-bit, so I didn't really make, I didn't understand that. I mean, 16-bit? 
I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. So I beat the game, and I think that's it. I think I can do New Game Plus again, which I already did. So I don't know if I, if I'm gonna go back to playing River City Girls, honestly, man. You know what I mean? Uh, the other thing is I also, uh, 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 watched a movie last night. I got a DVD, so I was able to watch it. And it was the, um, David Lynch Art Life. Uh, it was a Criterion Collection. And, uh, what a weird movie. Uh, so, like, it, it's about David Lynch's life and, like, how he became an artist. And they never mention Twin Peaks or anything. They talk about him doing, like, legit art. And I didn't get it. He was talking about, like, when he was a kid, he saw, like, a naked woman on the curb of, of his road. And he wanted to do something to her, but, like, you know, he didn't know how to help her. It was really weird. Like, why would there be a naked woman walking on the street, dude? And then he talks about, like, how he... He, uh, you know, uh, did some experiments or, or something with dead mice and stuff. So he showed it to his dad, and his dad was, like, looked uh, very, like, uncomfortable. And when they were walking home, David Lynch, like, was smiling to himself and looked at his dad, and it was, like, really weird. And, his, and David Lynch's dad told him that he shouldn't have kids, and his uh, later on, his, his family said that they couldn't understand why he was an artist. That was really weird. And, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, is David Lynch, like, like uh, you know? Uh, I was really confused. And I was like, why, where is this art? Where is this art? I guess he only, I guess he threw it all away and just stuck with movies, I guess. I, I don't know, man. So that was that movie. Now the other movie I watched uh, uh, like two days ago was uh, Grave of the Fireflies. Now, now let me tell you this: I am a huge Miyazaki fan, and I love his work and the work from Studio G uh, 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 Studio G G Gibby Gibby uh, Studio Gibby. And uh, you know, I was expecting. Grave of the Fireflies to be, like, a happy movie, you know? Like, Miyazaki movies are usually, like, very uplifting adventures, supernatural stuff. Like, like you have Totoro, the magical buddy thing, and you have uh, Kiki, Kai Kai Delivery Service, where uh, Kai Kai uh, uh, runs around, but, like, on a broom. And this was, like... Like, what the fuck? You know? Like, it's a kid's movie, and they're talking about, like, death and malnutrition and uh, homelessness and, and dead parents. It was, like, really fucked up. I was like, why would they show this to kids? You know? And Studio Ghibli is usually a, a family uh, studio. So why do they have, like, a movie that's, like, inappropriate for kids? And I was, like, looking at Cleo, my, my, my rabbit, and I was, like, Cleo, this is, like, really disgusting and disturbing, man. And it was awful. It was, like, a really bad movie. Uh, you know, if I want to feel bad, I'll just, like, <laughs> play Last of Us 2, man. <laughs> but I decided to watch... Grave of the Fireflies, and I felt miserable. What's the point? I thought movies were meant to be fun. And uh, Grave of the Fireflies made me feel bad. What a fucking idiot. You know, whoever directed that movie is, is an idiot. I, I guarantee you, Gibi fired the guy. Because uh, they're supposed to be a family studio, and they should not be having movies that are, like, for adults, Okay. So that's really fucking stupid that they had that that Studio Ghibli made that movie. Fuck, what a fucking idiot, you know? Like, I don't want to feel bad. I said this about Last of Us 2, where it's like, 
If I want to feel bad, I'll just run around in, in real life. I, I watch movies as an escape to feel good and happy like video games. I don't want to think it and feel things. That's fucking stupid. If I want to feel things, I'll just like not do anything. You know what I mean? Fucking stupid, man. <sighs> So, yeah, that movie, I give it, like, a 1 out of 10. It's fucking stupid, man. Actually, the animation's pretty good, but I'm still giving it a 1 out of 10. The animation only gave it a 1, man. Uh, the story and everything else sucked. Yeah, I want to see kids starving. That's what I want to see when I think of movies from Studio Ghibli. Fucking idiots, man. Now, before this, I was watching this movie called Lady Kaguya from Studio Ghibli. Now, uh, now, unlike Grave of the Fireflies, this one was at least, like, not depressing, but it was kind of very slow moving, and I didn't understand it. Like, this girl came from Bamboo, and she was, like, living as royalty, and I was like... How is she royal all of a sudden, you know? And then, like, uh, you know, she uh, wanted to go back. She had to go back to the moon. I was really confused. And, and I think I had, like, Buddha show up. And Buddha was, like, you know, kidnapping or something. It was really strange. I don't understand it, man. Maybe someone uh, on YouTube understands Lady Kaguya, but that movie, that movie made no sense to me. You know what I mean? So, you know? <sighs> you know, I don't think there's really much to say right now, so I think I'm gonna uh, end this video, and I'll see you guys for another update. Uh, I'm not gonna do videos the next few days, as a forewarning, now of course this is all going to be uploaded on its own, but those two days are my days off, okay? So I, I'm not going to do any recording those two days, that is time for me in the butt, okay? So I'm not, I'm not going to be recording anything, but uh, I'm just letting you know that uh, we're going to skip some days in the next recording, okay? So... Uh, I just want you to know, because I'm not changing my schedule, okay? My schedule worked for, like, years and years and years. And I'm not going to change it because Dumb Fuck Power Company decided to fuck up, okay? And the fucking storm ruined everything, okay? I don't want to, like, change my schedule for that, okay? So, uh, there's going to be, it's still going to be two days, two days off. Uh, because I need those days off. I, I need it, okay? Especially after all that's going on, okay? So, I hope you understand. <sighs> And then hopefully next time we can continue the hat streak, uh, uh, officially, uh, you know what I mean? <sighs> okay, so I think that'll be it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, uh okay, bye. Uh, see you later. Goodbye. Later. See you later. Peace out. Later.